I'll leave one. If you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe. Push the notification bell to be notified every time I upload YouTube. It's Connor Moses, Titanic fans, well, back again with another video. These brass canisters will need a good scrub in fresh water. Uh, yeah, they will. stop them from oxidizing when they dry. Okay. Ta-da. 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 Ah, oh, bugger. I'm surprised these paper messages survived. They'll need to be soaked in the desal bath and then in the fungicide tub. There we go. On that. There we go. Oh, shit. That's what I'm only reading what it's telling me. Ready for freeze drying. Transfer to Titanic. Find ship, find weather. Arrive Wednesday with special delivery. Love, William. He mentions the There's package again. Type of Maybe letter. he really did have something stowed in the cargo hold. Well, nothing was listed on the manifest. A lot of things weren't. He could have been referring to anything, though. It might have been something special in his suitcase or in the purser's safe. We can still search the cargo hold as a start. Yeah, we'll check it out next dive. Right on time. Hello, team. Hey, Gillian. We recovered the message from the Marconi room, but it doesn't really give us any new information. That's still great news. I daren't have hoped you'd find it. What does it say? We're sending you through a photo of the message now. Thank you. Ah, oh, it adds another layer to the story, doesn't it? He must have thought himself lucky to have been transferred to Titanic. The coal strike meant yeah. many people were upgraded to Titanic. Such tragedy. William refers to a delivery in this message, so we're assuming he may have kept something in the cargo hold. Yeah. We're planning to head down there next dive to check it out. Depending on what it was, there's a chance it survived. Did you find anything we missed right. in the cargo Green manifest? Windows. No, but I've been doing a bit of extra sleuthing. I found out that there was a registered parcel traveling on the but Titanic a with a Mr. W.J. Henderson's name on it. Is it possible on, that the guys was traveling as lines. mail and I keep cargo? <laughs> Yeah, that's it's a like I keep trying to think the put up the tip, but it's not really there. Uh, it's not realistic. It's going for the the mailroom used to be off limits, but we can access it through a new hole in the cargo hold wall. Our ROV will need another transmitter upgrade to delve that deep, though, and a longer lasting battery. Do you have any idea of the size of the parcel? What's inside it? It's alright. Just trying to get me out of the way. Oh, that's better. Hey, I don't. Oh, well, I thought I was glitching in the <laughs> I was like, oh, hang on, why am I this close? Maybe something it took me five French seconds to flip and realize I was actually. Could it have been a religious thing? I read the Hendersons were very involved in their local church. Yes, definitely. In fact, I'm surprised William's Bible was. Yeah, it's a good game. Recommend he was known it. To carry it everywhere. Maybe he had it with him during the sinking. Hello. Perhaps. There are mixed reports about his final moments. Oh, look at I'm just looking at sure that. We'll ever find out what really happened. Well, we'll try our best to find out. Hopefully we can learn more about him from the next dive. I do hope so. I want to tell my great-grandfather's story accurately in this biography. We'll speak again tomorrow, after the dive. Yes, thank you. Talk to you then. Right. We better get those upgrades for Predator sorted then. Yeah, I'm we'll get on it now. She's good to go. Thanks. I got a you got... Back, back. Back on. Sorry, I just moved my phone, phone a bit. Here we go. Wait for it to. Hang on.
Radio check, CCGS Wilson. Signal is great. Well, we had two this All time. Right. I'm just marking the cargo hold on your map. You can access it from the number two hatch on the forward well deck. I'll make my way to the hatch and deploy Predator. Oh, it's that cargo hatch I'm one. Very clearly, Pillar. The moment that my father awakened me, of course, I was dead to sleep. Until I saw that ship sink, and afterwards when I heard the people about I remember it all vividly. Do you remember the panic, the fright? Were you panicked and frightened, or did you panic being seven years of age, not really taking it all in? Oh, no, I took it all in, but so the panic started, of course, after the all too few lifeboats had gone. And people were coming up on deck hoping to get into a lifeboat, and there weren't any boats for them. That's when the panic started, which we could hear when we were in the lifeboat. I suppose as a very young person, you could see adults panicking oh, and screaming. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Absolutely Dreadful. horrific. Dreadful. And your father went down with the ship. Yes, he did. Your mother, however, was she spared was saved with, with me, yes. And uh, do you, I do, I hate to talk about it, but do you remember going away and one of the things looking back at the ships? I do indeed, yes. Very clearly. To this day, I hate looking at pictures of ships. It might be a good idea to shine your sublights down the void again. There will be a lot of debris down there. Heading down now. Oh, breaking down. No, I'm gonna look around. Go down this bit. Uh, this is just going to be a big empty room. Oh, flipping right was I. <laughs> well, it was I. It's because I come across rooms that are empty like this. Would have been accessible this room. Would have been a room. I'm just looking in. Oh, there's a few doors here. No, we just have empty areas. Oh, but this one's going to be the same. Oh, it's the same bit I was looking at. Just that. Wow. This game is good. Oh, I know this bit now. Oh, this is the very, very, very front. You. Mama. It's alright, I'm not undead. Bugger it. Why would it let me go, freaking? Uh, Fudge it. It won't. Hang on, I'm not undead. Frick it. Ouch. <laughs> Me being a clumsy clut. 
I'm trying to get onto this bit here. I managed it before. How the hell am I not managing it now? Back. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Who is giving me. Give me. Who's giving me the chills? Feels like you're actually there at one point. Uh, our sub is right on that. I'll go to that bit in a minute. Oh, it's giving me the chills, this is. Oh, it looks so creepy. When you're playing it, it's just... Oh, there we go. Oh, we're at the front now. There's the anchor. I'm going to go to the very front. I'll go to the very front of the ship. I'm going to turn around at one point. Oh, this is creepy. Yo, guys, I see what... Oh, 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 wow, oh, wow. The ship's so freaking high. When you're looking forward, all you can see is blackness. Uh, when you turn around, look straight up. Now I'm going back up. This is the anchor. The anchor. The original anchor, this anchor, was from Netherton, somewhere, in England. Titanic was based in Liverpool. No, we're going to go back down it. Hey! I ain't letting me go down any further. Oh, boulder dash. Like a boulder dash. I don't know. It's let me go forward, but it's not let me go forward. Fucking down! Oh. Ah, oh, fudge it, I... Where did I just... Oh, yeah, I know I am now. It won't let me... Go fucking down any... Ah, oh, boulder dash. Oh, it's a safe... There we go. Uh, there we go, let's see. Oh, I was just having a good look. I'm having a good look at the ship in general. Where are we? Uh, got to descend on that. That's the crows. Oh, Chris Creepy. Ah, ah! I don't think it looks very bothered. Hang on. Got an itchy forehead. You were right about the debris. The cargo crates and barrels in here have almost all disintegrated. I didn't realize it was carrying so much cargo. Surely this wasn't all just for passengers. No, most of this was produce and commercial goods being shipped to the United States, along with the passenger cargo. I'll have a look around here before moving out to the mailroom, see if I can find anything related to Henderson. I 
can't see anything useful here. If he did have a package, it looks to be long gone. Let's check out the mail room then. Where's the access point again? It's in the side of the wall towards the back of the room. You'll see the metal has deteriorated there. It looks like some areas are decaying faster than others. Yeah, it is. We have a request from a conservation group to photograph the opening so the decay can be monitored. No problem. Done. I'm through to the mailroom. Deck plans show there is a parcel room to the right of the mailroom, near the stairs. This room is pretty well preserved. Even the mail sacks. I can't see anything here. Try the bags near the stairs. There should be some sacks of registered mail destined for New York there. Here we go. Found the New York bags. Can you see Henderson's name on any packages? Found one for a... W.J. Henderson. I think this is it. The packaging isn't in great condition, but the contents look okay. I can't believe we found it. Is there anything else there with his name on it? I can't see anything else. I'll make my way up now. Great. See you soon. Oh, what the fucking hell was that? Hey Jean, I'll just get this cleaned up before I call. I'm surprised the packaging survived at all. Hmm, this case will need a bit of care. A soak, scrub, PEG bath, and then drying. Luckily, glass and gold don't need much attention when recovered. Just a quick scrub to remove the dirt. That's 
Beautiful. Gillian will be so excited to see this perfume bottle. I guess it at being French is correct. Hi, Gillian. Hello. What do you have for me today? We made our way into the cargo hold and mail room and found William's gift. It was a small parcel in the registered mail sacks. That's amazing. I honestly thought that it was a long shot to recover the parcel. What's inside? A leather case containing a small glass perfume bottle. Looks like gold detailing, and you were right with your suspicions. It's French. <laughs> I knew it. I'll send through a photo. Hmm. Now that this is recovered, though, I don't know where we should search next. Honestly, we aren't sure either. Uh, we were hoping the journal and this gift might give us some indication of William's final movements, but we're at a dead end. You should continue your search of the bow. There's still a large portion of the ship unexplored. Yeah, we need to take advantage of this good weather. What area should we explore next, then? I suggest the D-deck reception area and Turkish baths. We haven't really ventured into the debris field yet, either. It covers such a large area, though. Three by five miles. And some areas are denser in artifacts than others. It would take us years to search the entire area. What about that mosaic imaging of the wreck completed recently? Could we identify smaller areas to search from those images? The divers focused on mapping out the wreck itself more than the debris field. But I heard some other diving teams have started on the surrounding areas as well. I could contact those dive teams to find out what they have mapped. They may have finished some of the denser debris areas. It's worth a shot. Let us know what you learn. In the meantime, we'll keep looking for clues and let you know if we find anything of interest. Thanks. I hope to hear from you soon. Why the D-Deck reception area and Turkish bath? They're both areas Henderson would have visited, and we have jobs from other contractors in those areas, so it's a good opportunity. Two birds, one stone, you know? Well, fair enough. Will we need any upgrades for this next death? Yeah, we need to attach some specialty equipment to Predator for these contracts. The D-Deck reception is a basic photography opportunity, so that's fine, but the Turkish baths is a recovery job. A recovery? Another dive team was searching that area, and their tethered ROV lost communication with the submersible. They've asked us to recover their ROV for them, and they've been kind enough to supply us with the necessary upgrades. Do you think it'll be difficult to get out? Not sure yet. We'll find out when we get down there and try. The ROV looks to be trapped under a piece of pipe, so we need to lift the pipe and then drag it out with a hook. Uh, what equipment have they given us? It's sitting over there on the table this next to the predator. This flotation gear will help me rescue Should be easy the damned enough ROV. To attach it all. There's an empty... I'll get onto it now, then. This hook and rope will be useful when I rescue the downed ROV. All attached. She's Thanks. ready for tomorrow. Get some rest. 